This project is a memory game alarm clock that I made. The idea is that when the alarm goes off in the morning, you have to solve a memory game in order for the alarm to turn off. That way you're awake and alert in the morning by the time you've solved the game. Here's the normal time display. On the lower right here, this little dot indicates that the time is PM. If I want to view what the current alarm time is set for, I would hold down this button and it shows 8 o'clock and you see there's no dot, so that's 8 o'clock a.m. If I want to adjust that time, I can use these two buttons as plus and minus. So this is plus, and this is minus. If I want to go quickly, just hold it down. And like most modern alarm clocks, it kind of accelerates the longer you hold it down for. So I'll go ahead and set this for a time shortly after the current time, so we can see the alarm actually go off. So I'll make it for 10.02. So right now it's 10.01. To turn the alarm on, you double tap this button, and then this light will show indicating that the alarm is on. To change the current time, you hold down this button, the current time will flash, and it's the same thing. Decrement and increment the time. So I'll go ahead and wait for 10.02 for the alarm to sound. So as you can see, it just lit up one light. It's giving me a chance to play. But if I don't play in time, you see it goes into full-on annoying alarm mode. So, to get out of this, just hit any button, and it'll let you play. Now, if I just don't play for a few seconds though, it's gonna go back into annoying alarm mode. The idea is you gotta be quick, you gotta be responsive, and you gotta be awake in order to actually solve this game. So if I go ahead and try again... I get a little victory song and the alarm is shut off until 24 hours from now when the alarm is going to go off again. A couple more features. You can adjust the brightness of the LCD screen using these two buttons. So this makes it brighter and this makes it dimmer all the way to off. So if you're sleeping, you can turn it all the way off, for example. You can also put it into 24 hour mode by hitting these two buttons. And you can change the difficulty by holding down those two buttons, and you'll see it's displaying a number now. If I use this button, you can increment and decrement the difficulty. You can go all the way up to 16 if you're crazy. So that's the length of the pattern that you're going to have to solve. For example, when I did my example, it was only 5. So if you think you have a really good memory, you can go all the way to 16, but I recommend probably a bit lower to make sure you don't just throw the thing out the window. So the one thing that I don't really like about this design is I tried to make it look cool by putting an LCD screen underneath here and drilling holes exactly where the elements of the LCD screen are. And as you can see I failed pretty miserably, like the 4 right now is just not displaying at all. So in the future, I'd like to do a laser cut design where it's a bit more precise and just looks a lot better.